Jamie Scotto Kataya, CEO of Jamie Scotto and Associates. And on behalf of my team here at JSA, welcome to the 28th issue of Telecom News and Trends, or TNT. TNT is your monthly industry wrap up of the latest news and happenings right here in the telecom industry. We'd like to thank our TNT sponsor this month, and that's Protecto. Protecto is a financial services company catering to the telecom industry, currently serving 750 carriers with escrow, loan management, and lender services. For more, go ahead and check out protecto.com. As we kick off 2013, let's be sure we pencil in June 26th in our new 2013 calendars. That's the date of our next telecom exchange. Telecom Exchange East will be happening at Cipriani Wall Street in downtown New York City. This is a one-of-a-kind networking event because it gives you direct access to the decision makers behind those networks. And it also streamlines your business opportunities by letting you know just who is one cross-connect away in those key colo sites and carrier hotels. So go ahead and check out thetelecomexchange.com or you can email us at events at jamiescotto.com for more information. So now let's get started on our telecom headlines. Light Tower Fiber Networks and Sidera Networks had big news. They've signed a definitive agreement to merge both companies. This is a transaction valued at over $2 billion, led by uh, Berkshire Partners and the management team. We are honored to be representing the new merged entity, so if you do have any questions or um, media inquiries, go ahead and email pr at jamiescotto.com. Also in M&A news, we are uh, excited to announce Zao has ex executed a definitive agreement to purchase Lightcast. That's a provider of Metro Bandwidth Infrastructure Services in Baltimore, Maryland, and that's for a price tag of $22 million. Zao has also announced 100 gig wavelength services across major markets within the U.S. This deployment will continue throughout the first half of 2013. In other Zao news, the company also expands its fiber footprint in eastern Oregon. It is uh, building 35 miles of 96 count fiber for a newly implemented fiber to the tower project. So congrats there. The company has also announced it's completed a dock fiber build going directly into DuPont Fabris Technologies Ashburn facility. And with all this growth and all this acquisition news, it's no surprise that the company's also marked its 10,000th on net building milestone. And that's after just six years since uh, inception. So congratulations, Zale. And now let's turn our page to some Hibernia news. Uh, the company has moved from Hibernia Atlantic to a new new name, Hibernia Networks. Why? This new name is more aptly defines the global network that Hibernia now owns and operates. It serves also the wholesale finance and media verticals. So go ahead and check out hibernianetworks.com. Hibernia Networks also announced it's completed 52.5 million in refinancing. Um, and the company was recently selected by NTT Communications to provide 100 gigs of diverse capacity. So big news coming from Hi Hibernia. Over to New York headlines, we have Optical Communications Group, or you probably know them as OCG. Um, they have announced its network availability to support voice and data services for customers in lower Manhattan. As you know, that area was directly impacted by Hurricane Sandy. Um, also, the news comes after OCG has added over 50 buildings in this area adding to its existing footprint. So um, certainly uh, a company to watch out for. Also news from New York, check out the New York Real Estate Journal. Um, there's a spotlight feature on our own Robert Bianco. He is TW Telecom's Manhattan Vice President as well as General Manager. The article describes Rob and his company's greatest professional achievements of 2012. So a wonderful recap there and uh, worthy of a read. Out to the West Coast, we're uh, on to BioS. BioS partners with a company called Galvanize. They uh, just announced uh, their Galvanize partnership, and that's a Denver-based startup ecosystem designed to support the development of high-growth digital entrepreneurs and startups. No surprise there, as BioS is entrenched in community service and, uh, and support. So a wonderful partnership there. 
BioWest, as you know, is one of the largest privately held data centers, cloud computing and managed services in North America. It was also, BioWest, named as one of the best places to work in Texas by Texas Monthly. BioWest also announced that eLinks Technologies has expanded in its infrastructure services within BioWest Vegas Data Center. All this news coming as BioWest also announces a channel partnership program with Carrier Sales, a telco-focused master agent out of Salt Lake City. So these are just a sampling of the headlines we have covered. We have um, a medley more to check out uh, in our email newsletter. That's Telecom News and Trends. If you're not one of the 17,000 folks already subscribed and reading, you can download the latest issue and subscribe so other issues come right to your inbox on jamiescotto.com. And check out our video section, JSA TV. We have some new JSA TV uh, C-level interviews with Srinath Narayan. He's the CEO of RimHub and uh, he sits down with me and shares some insight as to uh, one of their new products coming out to market, which is very cool. Um, and also keep it here for an interview coming out with CEO of BCS Global, Mr. Clive Sockins. He uh, tunes in from, from Europe, so we're excited to have him and, and interview him, so check it out. Uh, jamesgatter.com slash JSA TV. Also, um, we should uh, note that our JSA team members have been rolling up their sleeves and volunteering to help clean up and, and help those uh, who are in need, particularly after Hurricane Sandy in the Long Island area. Um, so we've got a, a fun little blog and photos to share with you there. Also, um, JSA is a resource, of course, for the industry. We published our 2013 Best, Best Practices Guide for Social Media. Um, so go ahead and check it out. We have the link available at Telecom News and Trends. And uh, we've also posted the top telecom events for 2013. Where are we and our clients going to be? Where do we see the most uh, networking capabilities? We've uh, created a list for you. Uh, and it has become one of the most downloaded um, blogs. So uh, I think we were over 20,000 click-throughs, so go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. And lastly, another popular um, resource that we provide for you, JSA interviewed OSS and BSS solution providers to gain an insight um, and some business metrics into, uh, into the voice industry. So download our free inaugural 2012 industry performance report. Um, and also, another link that's available for you on Telecom News and Trends, this, this issue, it is um, the latest issue of Global Vision magazine. Um, so it's a, it's a link that's available to our readers. Go ahead and click on it and check out some more news and insights from a quarterly magazine that covers the globe. Check it out. Looking for those top telecom headlines. So check it out. Also, Wall Street Journal recently uh, published an article that featured our clients. So we have a link to that great article. I won't give you any hints, but it's talking about all these fiber acquisitions. Also, lastly, um, while you're on our TNT and looking at links, please connect with our, uh, with our clients. We provide all of our clients LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube uh, click-throughs. So go ahead and check those out for daily news and video feeds. And keep reading TNN. That's our blog that now attracts over 50,000 hits a month, Telecom News Now. It's jamiescotter.com slash blog. And thanks for being one of the 17,000 readers who are, who, are, uh, who are receiving and reading Telecom News and Trends. And as always, if you'd like to be featured in our next issue of TNT or in a direct interview format on, on TV, on JSA TV, please email pr at jamiescotto.com. Until then... Happy networking.